Good morning, good morning, everybody. Hey, my name is Nontlan. I'm going to go to the Welcome to yet another vlog. Happy weekend. Happy weekend, everybody. Oh, sorry. Child. Um, it is a Saturday. The day these... Sorry, let's get distracted for one second. The day these leggings talk... <laughs> one day these leggings are going to talk, Shem. Um, it's a Saturday. I need to go get Bajaji washed. Bajaji is my car. I call my car Bajaji. Um... I need to go get Bajaji washed and then I'm gonna come back home and carry on bed rotting. Today there's rugby playing. I wanna go watch the rugby. I'm not sure if I'm gonna, but I wanna go watch the rugby. And yeah, anyway, let's go get Bajaji washed because hey, it's filthy. It's so filthy. Oh, oh, and I got these socks on. That is so cute. Anyway, um, let's get going. Sunday everybody I hope everyone is good I have had a quiet weekend where I literally spent it indoors I went so yesterday I went to get my car washed and then I came back home and I just sat on the couch watching the good doctor the whole afternoon and now I'm still in the house uh, okay so as soon as coming home I realized that we don't have bread so I had to go out again to go get bread this morning there was no milk in the house. I had to go out again to get milk. But anyway, hey, hey, everyone. Um, it's a Sunday afternoon. I've been in bed the whole day. I'm not feeling. I'm not feeling okay. But uh, like nothing's going on. I'm just not. I'm just not. So it's probably like four o'clock in the afternoon and. I want to go cook because feed <laughs> feed feels me better. Food makes me feel better. So I want to go cook. Um, I want spicy chicken or like peri peri something, peri peri fried chicken, but homemade. Um, I was disappointed a few weeks ago by the chicken, by the meat that this chicken licking. It was bland. And I don't want to, I don't want to repeat of that. So yesterday I took chicken. I thought I was going to cook yesterday. Child. Oh, sorry. We did our lashes. I'm not even sure you can see. I'm using my back camera. I don't even know if my head is cut off or what. Um, yeah, I want, I want a lot of things. I want so many things. And. literally feels impossible right now i want a lot of things but obviously i can't have a lot of things so now i will settle for a plate of food i don't know what i want with my peri peri fried chicken peri peri fried chicken i don't know if i want bubble rice or samp or just vegetables i don't know i'm just gonna get in the kitchen and i'm just gonna let whatever little inspiration I have to lead. Anyway, um, that's not even why I wanted to open up the vlog now. Um, little thing, yesterday I posted up a status. Um, let me go read it, then I'll tell you, give me a second. Okay, so the status basically says, I'll, I'll translate it at the end, be patient with me. Okay, hold on, it looks like this thing is facing the other way. Give me a second. Okay, so it basically says, 
ngino muntu wa amina ongton ongthanda livuke uh, what ongthanda guvuke say right loosely translated it means whoever doesn't love me i hope <laughs> um i hope i hope you're not okay i hope things just get worse for you um i have my own person that loves me from the moment we wake up in the morning and i then went on further to post that on my whatsapp status and i basically spoke about it right so let me give you the scenario first my son's phone broke on wednesday he broke his phone on wednesday um i don't know how i feel about it, it doesn't really matter it's just the phone and then so he spoke to me early-ish on wednesday he called me we had a whole little chit chat and then he ran out of airtime um i didn't try to call him back because i thought he'd come back to me or at least he'd send me a text he didn't cool on thursday on thursday my, thursday morning my mom tells me that hey your son's phone is broken i'm like okay cool no issues <laughs> thursday he calls me again and i'm like how is he calling me when his phone is broken so i don't even ask him what's going on with your phone i'm just like ah, i don't know on friday i give him a call he doesn't pick up i call him again he doesn't pick up and then maybe 10 15 minutes later he gives me a call back and he's like hey mom i'm like hey baby how are you he's like i'm good i'm like what's going on i hear gogo says uh your phone is broken what happened he's like eh, i don't know i put it down and when i came back to it it broke so obviously i knew that's not true so i'm like okay it's okay not a problem um how are you what's going on na, na, na. how how are you even able to call me from a broken phone because apparently you're not able to touch on it he's like yeah um i i'm i don't know i'm speaking to the voice voice thingy and it's making it's helping me make calls i'm like oh okay cool no issues we have our own conversation i hang up 30 minutes after that call it hits me that my 10 year old son when he wants to talk to me, whether a broken phone or not, he's going to literally make memes to talk to me. He's got a broken phone. <laughs> and he called me and then later on again, I, I I don't know, I just wanted to speak to him uh, later on on Friday. I tried to call him, I called him, nothing. I called him, obviously he can't answer right he's not able to press on the phone so I, I called twice he must have seen it and then 30 minutes later he calls me back he's like hey mommy i see that you try to call me i'm like uh hi baby honestly speaking what happened to your phone like i'm not gonna be mad tell me what happened he tells me what happened i'm like oh okay so you tried to throw it on your bed and uh, hit the wall oh okay not an issue it's fine we'll get it sorted um but it hit me so bad, Uti. You, you, I wouldn't think to speak to Siri on my phone to, hey, call so-and-so. <laughs> He's making means now to be like, oh, let's speak to mom. Call mom. So that that's what that status meant to me. And I was like, this is actually a very sweet person. He's a very good, he's a very good child. Like I, most of the time I have no issues with him below. Nothing. no issues with my kid 10 years in and i think he's got a heart of gold same with the same one that my mom has same one that my brother has and now he's another person that i'm gonna throw in that pile they're good people they're such good people i don't want that heart it's a lot i feel like it's a lot in this world and how crazy this world is i i'm always ready to punch somebody in the face but we're not going to speak about that. Let's go cook, guys. I feel like I've been rambling. So, yeah, that is my person. Ong Tandai. Revolve Iksen. Muvuwa Iksen. Loves me with his whole heart. Tells me every single day. He's with my parents. Um, He's going to be there for the rest of the holidays. And 
I'll fetch him just before school's open again because now mommy needs to take some time out to herself and pour into herself until she feels okay again and then we can start with the second half of the year but yeah let's go cook let's go make something amazing in the kitchen i hope it does taste amazing i don't know yo what's up been? let's go see all right so it looks like we're gonna have sam with spicy chicken drumsticks a potato salad i don't know what i'm gonna do with that butternut i think like a gravy so hence the the tomatoes and the pepper um the chicken breast is gonna go in the potato salad i'm feeling so uninspired like i'm a mess i'm a mess but yeah let me get sunday it's gonna be sunday dinner it's not it's no longer gonna be it's no longer gonna be sunday lunch so and there's beetroot see that's the only positive thing about this whole thing there's already prepared beetroot the flowers are dead and she threw them out like I haven't done laundry i cleaned on friday evening so the house is clean the house is clean <laughs> chicken um just still waiting for the oil to heat up yeah it feels a bit hot okay i've mixed up a few spices in here i've got this um bit better top this this is so spicy there's some flour in there i've got some chicken spice and i hoid in some barbecue spice don't ask me why i just did um and obviously here's my chicken i'm gonna I don't know, throw it in the flour and then hoe it in the oil. me why i make it like this now it's just the last one was bland and i saw a recipe from the funny chef and 
I didn't have some of the items that she had and I just decided to make it this way. And then I add my chicken breast. Okay, my potatoes are still in the... My potatoes are still in the oven, but we're not there. Okay, then I'm gonna add some mayonnaise. Oh, sorry, mayonnaise, and then plain yogurt. This might look like a lot of mayonnaise, but the last time my potato salad came out a bit too dry for my liking. Um, and I did add a lot of mayo. Okay. Then we're just going to mix these up. And then we're going to add potatoes to this mixture. But my potatoes are still in the oven. I'll bring you back once they're ready. You take your potatoes. Your potatoes. You hoi them in your, in your sauce. They're kind of hot. Kind of hot. I should probably wait until... They cool down, but it's like quarter past seven, and I want to eat now. I want to eat and go bed rot. Okay, that's all my potatoes, and then I just need to mix everything up. And don't mind me mashing it down like that. I'm just trying to get smaller pieces. Oh, okay. Okay, and that is a potato salad. This tastes so good. Anyway, I'm gonna dish up now. I'm Let's get the one old lady food. Look at her with her cup of tea. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, it's time for dinner. My plate is ready and it looks so freaking good. Let me dive in and I'll see you guys later.